Hey, what's up everybody? This is John from DroidDog.com and today I'm making a tutorial on rooting your Nexus One and flashing cooked ROMs onto it. Uh, as you can see, I'm making this after the fact, so little spoiler, this method does work. However, it's always risky to do this kind of thing with your phone. Anything you do is your responsibility. We can't help you out if you break your phone, void your warranty, which will happen in this process. The voiding of the warranty, that is, not necessarily the breaking of the phone. If you're watching this at YouTube, click the link in the sidebar to go to droiddog.com because there's going to be a complete print tutorial there with links to all the files you're going to need to do this. All right, let's get to it. All right, step one, unlocking the bootloader. The first thing that you'll need to do is download the file called fastboot.zip. And once you extract it, you'll find a folder called fastboot and within that, three files, fastboot-linux, fastboot-mac, and fastboot-windows.exe. The process is the same on all three systems. I'm using a Mac here. Now you're going to want to boot your phone into the bootloader. So you'll hold down the trackball, hit power. I'm still holding down the trackball here. All right, and we're in fast boot USB. I'm not sure if you can see that. So with the phone hooked up to USB, I'm going to go into my terminal and CD into this new folder I created when I extracted fastboot.zip. And then at the prompt, I'm going to type period forward slash fastboot dash Mac space OEM space unlock. And almost immediately, you'll see that this warning pops up from Google. It says unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. A custom OS is not subject to the same testing as the original OS and can cause your phone and installed applications to stop working properly. As a result, unlocking the bootloader will void any warranty on your phone. To prevent unauthorized access to your personal data, unlocking the bootloader will also delete all personal data from your phone, a factory data reset. Press the volume up down button to select yes or no, then press the power button to continue. And now it's booting up with the little unlock symbol there. Step two, rooting the phone. Now you'll see that I'm left in my terminal here with an error and I've, everything I've read says don't worry about that, it doesn't matter. And you can also see that I did in fact wipe my phone. So the next step after this is to download a file from the Motoko forums and you'll need to check in your settings about phone screen to determine which of these files you need to download here. For me, it's Superboot for ERE27, which was the official update that brought uh, you know, pinch to zoom to the browser and gallery and everything. So here I have ERE27 on my desktop and extracted. I have the folder with a number of files in it. And I'm just going to copy the text from the website here over to a text document so I don't have to remember it. So we want to power the phone off and we're going to go back into bootloader mode by holding down the trackball and pressing the power button. I'm just going to hang on to it there until the screen boots up white. Back to the terminal, I'm going to CD into my new directory, the folder that was created when I downloaded this super boot. And I'm going to change the permissions type chmod space plus x space install dash superboot dash mac dot sh so that just changed the permissions of the file and here's how we're going to actually execute it dot forward slash install dash superboot dash mac dot sh it says ok step three replace the recovery image the reason that I like to do this at this point of the whole rooting and flashing process is because I want to make a backup of the stock Nexus One ROM. So if I'm trying out um, you know, some cutting edge ROM that's really unstable and I'm having problems and I just want to go back to something uh, reliable for daily use, I always have this uh, stock ROM from Google, albeit with root access and an unlocked bootloader. So what I'm going to do is download Amon Raz, hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, recovery image from XDA developers. There's a link in the tutorial here. And this is version uh, 1.6.2. So we're going to go back into the bootloader, hold down the trackball, press power. Keep holding down the trackball until you get that white screen there. 
I'm going to open up a new terminal here just so it's easier to see what's going on and then I'll cd into my desktop directory then period forward slash fastboot dash max space devices and you can see the serial number there so it's recognizing the phone and again period forward slash fastboot dash mac you can just rename it to fastboot since you know you're only going to be using this on one system um, space flash recovery space recovery dash capital R capital A dash nexus dash v 1.6.2 dot img sending writing okay so now from bootloader I'm just going to use the volume to go down to power down power to select that so the phone just turns off to boot into recovery mode I'm going to hold down the volume key press power keep holding down the down volume key okay and it runs through a couple things there and I can just use the volume key to go into recovery mode press power and here we go now I have this new recovery image installed so this is going to make it easier for me to flash ROMs but I don't have the ROM over on my SD card yet so I'm just going to go to backup restore hit the trackball and I'm going to do a NAND backup because I said I wanted to back up the stock Nexus One ROM. Create an Android backup, press tra trackball to confirm any other key to abort. So I'm hitting the trackball, performing backup. Backup is complete, so I just hit the volume down key to get back to my main menu, and I'm going to reboot the system now. Step four, flash a cooked ROM. So my phone is rebooting right now. The next thing I need to do is to get this new Modico Alpha 10 Desire ROM over to the root directory of my SD card. Uh, you know, obviously you could pop out the SD card and use a little adapter like this. So you can just stick it in your computer, copy it over that way. So again, I have my Nexus One on the desktop here. I've already downloaded the file from the Modico forums, and of course this will be included in the tutorial. That's the largest file that you have to download for this entire procedure. It's 130 megs. But because we have this Amon Ra recovery image, we can flash any update zip. You know, you used to have to rename the full, the uh, the ROM zip to update.zip. I'll eject my Nexus one here. Turn off USB storage. And I'm going to reboot the phone. All right, so now what we want to do is boot into the recovery mode. So we're going to do the same thing we did before to get into uh, the recovery mode, which is hold down the volume key, press power, keep holding the down volume key until we get the white screen. Then we're going to uh, use our volume key down to select, I have to wait for it to check files there, to select recovery, hit the power button, take a moment here. And at this point, we need to wipe the phone again, even though that happened during the bootloader unlocking. So select the fifth option down, which is wipe, and then click the trackball, wait for the process to complete, and then we need to get back into recovery mode. So hold down the down volume, power, that'll take you to the white screen with the skateboarders, select recovery again. And here we are, back in Amon Ra's recovery. Flash zip from SD card, I select, and you know, since we're using this excellent recovery, we don't have to worry about renaming it update zip. We'll see all of the uh, zip files there that we can update. It's selected. I've got uh, Alpha 10 update, Modico, custom ROM, Nexus 1. So go ahead and hit the trackball. Trackball to confirm. And while it's doing its thing here, I'm going to move over to another camera so we can take a look at the ROM itself. And here we are starting fresh with the whole sense introduction. All right, and I finished setting up all of my Facebook, Twitter, Google accounts, everything like that. And you can see here it says, to learn more about the phone, visit htc.com slash bravo. All right, I've got to go play around with this, so you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching.